to book chat today we're gonna be talking about fantasy weapons and their importance and stories boom. Yeah, boom i like that pow pow i'm natasha i'm reagan and i'm sasha all right what is your favorite weapon in a fictional story movie anything so i feel like you can go a lot of different ways with this we can yeah. go especially you said movies or books so like you say that I'm obsessed with Wonder Woman right now. So oh, I'm like, okay, lasso, now. lasso, truth, mm -hmm. shield, god killer, that as well, the gauntlets. <laughs> yeah. So like those Her are pretty armor. awesome. Like everything mm -hmm. about Wonder Woman is just so awesome. But then no, there's like no. some like random weapons that I like within stories. I'm a mm -hmm. big fan of Rick Riordan. Um, mm -hmm. his Norse mythology book series is really good. And in that story, all the weapons talk. What? Like they have their own. Like That's they're cool. like blessed, so they have their own personalities, which makes <gasps> it super funny when you read it, because like. They He'll be like out. wheel, like drawing out a sword to wield, and be like, "I'm not feeling it." He's like, he's like, like I don't really have an option right now. There's like 20 bad Somebody's guys running kill me. at me. He's like, "Eh." Yeah. Oh, oh, is it like the Iron Man suit talking to yes. you? Yes. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh. Okay. But like less British and less polite. In Lord of the Rings, uh, there's a sword called Sting, and it is given to Bilbo Baggins because uh -huh. it is for his size. Because mm -hmm. like the hobbits are very, very Petite. tiny, and it can sense when orcs are near. Orcs, goblins. They're all the bad same. guys. <laughs> it's kind of like like Izzy's um, necklace. Oh yeah, from the Moral Instruments, oh, um, the the red jeweled necklace yeah. that can sense when demons are mm -hmm. near. I also oh, think I of Three know. Dark Crowns. Oh, I haven't read that yet. Which is one of my favorite books of all time. But basically, there's three factions that focus on three different ways to kill people, mm -hmm. oh. and one of them is focused on poisons, and they like literally train their bodies to be immune to all poisons, and then be able to make all poisons. It's really cool and also kind of gross, but really cool. Do you want some other type of weaponry that we haven't really played around with, and that is um, special abilities. Like oh, the yeah, like abilities powers. of mind control oh. or um, extreme strength or, yeah. um, you know. So just basically you can weaponize up, yeah. anything. Anything. Basically anything, anything of you. Even like, dogs. What of these, these could be a weapon. Ah! One of the challenges that I had when I was writing Z and Lindsay is that we had to make weaponry that was not like Star Wars. Yeah. Not the yeah. Like, yeah. You. It was more like something pow, that was pow. different. Pow, pow. <laughs> or else we were like, Star Wars ripoff. No, so we had to kind of mold to a different type of structure with within like, you know, the science fiction community with weaponry. And we did it and we had lots of fun with it. But we did want to like, you know, slam our heads against the desk a few times because What it's, are they? Um so one of them is uh, a double trigger gun. One of them paralyzes, one of them um kills. And so it depends which oh, one you click. Um cool. we also have like these orb things. I forgot if we totally if we added those in at the end of the book because we had a lot of ideas of orbs. Weaponry. Like a and grenade. We, um it's yeah. kinda like a grenade but it does it's different like a things. Halo. Um, and really we wanted to make grenade. it small, portable, but also has a great impact. And right. one of our characters loves making weaponry, oh, cool. so it's really fun. That's In awesome. another sci-fi book, Red Rising, yeah. uh -huh. uh, by Pierce Brown, he has these, uh, they're called razors, and they're like, they they're, they like slither on your arm and it's like a blade and Ooh. you have to like kind of tame it oh. but it's like not a living organism it's like a piece of, a piece of machinery metal. and so it's just it's so cool it's sci-fi yeah. so i always really enjoy when stories kind of go beyond what you would imagine a traditional yeah. weapon to be. Like yeah. you mentioned that in Red Rising and mm -hmm. you mentioned having to make whole new weapons for Xenon. Yeah. Like while I do love a good old fashioned sword fight, it's sometimes cool to see like a nunchuck thrown in there. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you like something new. Those. That's what I'm saying. What like those, something new. What are those oh. things that like come the back discs? at you? The discs, um, oh, boomerangs? Boomerangs, yes. Pow! Oh, like a bladed so cool. boomerang. Those. If you had to pick your own like iconic weapon, like wow, I see that. That's Natasha's weapon. What would it be? It could be anything. You could add a blade and make anything a, a weapon. Like, can I have like an animal? <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm I mean, sorry. like technically, don't dire, limit yourself. Dire, dire yeah. wolves are dire weapons. wolves. I would like a dire. Or no, I would like something like uh, Festus and. Um, uh, so you're gonna say festive? I was like, festive. all right, okay, we're going there. Right, Christmas that's, tree, uh, mechanical <laughs> dragon, and um, uh, the oh, prophecy, yeah, 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 and like yeah, yeah. Um, uh, the yeah. Tales of Apollo. That's so cool because it's like you can hop onto the dragon. Yeah. The dragon will be fire at the people. I mean, not the and most subtle. It's but... not the most subtle thing, but it's pretty mighty. But, you know, a more concealed weapon, I think that I would, um, I don't, that, that's so difficult. Because yeah. I would love to be, like, really, really gifted at some type of just, like, throwing knives and being able yeah. to stick, stick somebody with like it. Like Triss? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Triss. That's cool. Like, beep, beep, like, beep, beep, beep. I, I mean, one of my favorite weapons is Thor's hammer. <gasps> yeah. Yes. So, and, like, Thor's hammer, Mjolnir is kind of like a living thing. Yeah. Like, it has yeah. its own voice and has its own mind. Um, and, like, it, like it, you can only wield it if you're worthy, and I mm -hmm. think that's a really cool concept. That is really mm -hmm. cool. 
Um, so like something like that. I also like love um, how Rapunzel uses a frying pan. Oh yeah, <laughs> see, yeah, see, anything unexpected can be a weapon. weapon. Yeah, anything can be a weapon. Yeah, mm-hmm. definitely. Yeah. What would yours be? Well, if I had to answer this, I have like two prong. So growing up, I was obsessed with Legolas. Like I had the <laughs> biggest crush on him, so I always wanted to be an elf. Yeah. Like I can see my, that. Yeah, like I just always so like bow and arrows are so cool. Yeah, and then, you know in video games, I'm always the rogue. But if I had to like actually make a weapon, if there's some way for me to weaponize Matilda, I think that'd be hilarious. Let's, I, you know, maybe she's her own size. I know. I just like. Can you imagine being like? Come forth to war, like, Matilda! And she's like, like her snoring, like. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, like Wonder Woman, for example, she has so many yeah, weapons upon her. And I think there's like some um, really cool aspect of having a character with not just one special weapon, but yeah. multiple. And like bringing up Zenith once more because um, it's actually uh, similar to Wonder Woman's cuffs, but she mm. actually has protective cuffs because she has very severe scarring all over her because she was burned um, when she was um, in an accident. So those actually, these cuffs that she has, um, People, they're not Wonder Woman's cuffs where like she can literally spew out a bunch of like force from them, but yeah. um, they um, are blinding. good blockers. And yeah. she also has these um, double-edged swords that oh, are electric. Cool. And so it was really fun creating that. But also those are two um, really popular things that a lot of other characters may use in other books. But we put them together and they work. So like, right. you know, Wonder Woman, she has multiple. She has her like sword, she has her they're lasso, awesome. she has her shield. <laughs> no, but, but the point yeah. is all the weapons, they're well, useful. They're useful and they, one. exactly, yeah. and they can be catered towards whatever character is weld- wielding yes. them. Welding them? Wielding them. Unless you're <laughs> Katniss, then you know, you have to have the bow in it. Yeah. yeah, I know, Katniss is pretty Also, iconic. I was thinking like, <laughs> like my hot tools. <laughs> Like my oh, curling iron? Yes. Like, oh my. That those goes hurt cool. so bad. Those could be a torture Ooh. device. Yeah. Like, really? Like a hair Like yeah. really long um, <laughs> yes. curling iron or yeah. something, and then you're like holding them. Poison yeah. is also a weapon. Poison is a good like, weapon. Like, yeah. I always thought that was really cool. People yes. who could, like, I don't know if that makes me, like, a weird person, no, but every no, time no. in books, like, if there was, like, the no. guy that would, like, secretly poison people, I'm like, that's so much less, it's, like, so much less messy. Chit-chat. <laughs> chit-chat? Chit-chat? Chit-chat. We're going to chit-chat. Hey, what's up, Chit Chat? I'm Lindsay Cummings, and I'm the author of all of these books. I think I just broke a sweat. Today, we're going to be talking about fantasy weapons and how I create them. I've always been a big fan of creating weapons in my stories, and so the one thing I always ask myself is, what weapon would fit in in this world? In the murder complex, I gave my character Meadow an old dagger that was a remnant of her world's past. In this dystopian world, it didn't make sense to have a weapon that needed to be reloaded because there wasn't time or resources for that sort of thing. So the dagger won. In Balance Keepers, my characters go to school in the very core of the earth, and they have magical necklaces that unlock special powers for each of the students. They're kids. I'm not going to give them weapons. In Zenith, Sasha and I gave Andy twin electric swords. Why electric? Because it's outer space and electricity is awesome. And when you think of the imagery of dark outer space and then these slashing electric swords, how could you not write that into a book? But seriously, she can like cauterize wounds and slice them off in one swift motion. Why would you not put that into a sci-fi book? So really when it comes down to it, I ask myself, what world am I in and what weapons can I give my characters that match with that world? Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. So right over here, we have a chest full of bookish weapons and we're gonna be talking about those weapons and learning more about them and how to use them from weapons expert, David. Welcome to Book Chat. Okay, let's each pick a weapon. Who's first? Sasha! I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> oh, I know which one she's going to Very I got bow. Yes. Oh, yeah. Arrow long yes. Oh, yes. Yeah, oh, yes. Arrows in there. Yeah, so of course you would most of the time use this long range mm-hmm. from, from a distance, mm-hmm. but you could also use this. I've got some room here. If somebody's up close. Oh, oh my god. Oh, 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 oh. got the arrows. Dual action. I know I'm uh, upping him uh, by doing that, but... Yeah. I mean, right. you might have been better. Can't you, like, take an arrow and go, like, well, bam! Oh, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Be like, Screw the bow. Dead! Yeah. Yeah. I go, like, here we go. Ooh. Attack. Mm-hmm. And then... Mm-hmm. Attack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but he just blocked you. Then... Well... Oh! oh. 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 Alright, who's next? Uh, okay, I'll go next. Yeah. I choose the Sword of Gondor. This is a double-edged sword. You want to be careful when you're striking that you're not hitting with the flat part. You want to get the angle just right so you get a good cut.
Shield. You might have a shield, okay. a sword like this, like in medieval times, a lot of times yeah. they would have a shield. So you would block and you'd be, you'd be going through armor. It's still kind of a thicker sword. It's got a little weight to it. So yeah, it would be used to cut through armor. But you could have a flashy sword fight again. I think a little flare. Oh, oh, wow. Show somebody you've held one of these before. Okay. It'll kind of scare them a little bit. But of course you use it as a stabbing weapon, hacking weapon. Use it to block. <laughs> But this, I'm on the wrong side to do this. I can't do the thing. Don't stab him! <laughs> yeah, you want to be careful how you hold it. Now that is a grip too. Oh my! You see this sometimes. Oh you know, yeah. If you're quick, you have to go across the belly, and you can block too. What about like? Hi <laughs> ya! Just this. Maybe if I'm down there, that'll work. Legs. I've got a lot of legs. That's a good idea. Yeah. You gotta look at your opponent. Oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, this fight is going down. Right. I think I think it's my turn to go now. So um, I want to choose this lovely guy. He just looks like a nice modern knife. It reminds me like it served me like Hunger Games like mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So I'm feeling I'm feeling this little guy. So, this wow. is I, um, yeah. a dummy knife, so <laughs> it's not gonna so really. We won't, like, it might not feel too good to get poked by it, but it's not gonna really do. Anything. Okay, that's great so, for me because this is for up close. Okay, it's right here. Quick okay. slashes. And yeah. Stabs. Oh, that's wonderful. Yeah, um, so now I just kind of want to like. Like I'm gonna come like yeah. after you, and I want to like see how you would like block that. Is uh, that I would block it? Yeah. If you've got a knife. Yes. I'm, I'm running away. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Should I stab like like yeah. that? Oh. Lock it. Right oh here. no. I grab his wrist. I grab my own wrist. <laughs> Break him down. So that's how you work a knife, everyone. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I tried my best. My spirit animal, animal's Gimli, even though he's not an animal, but you know, it's fine. <laughs> Basically an animal. I'm kind of terrified. <laughs> okay, let's see that. Can I just chop wood with it? You could chop wood with it. Great. Yeah, that's kind of like wood chopping. Right. This actually has an edge sword. Be yeah. careful with this. Yeah, thing. I don't want to die. Now, you, this is the type of hatchet they use for throwing. I don't know if you guys seen like... Oh, like um, in the competitions? Like, okay. Yeah, but you, you want to be careful. It's not always going to hit the target. Uh -huh. Sometimes mm -hmm. you're going to hit it. Here, so uh, like that's really a bit good. risky. You, yeah. you might want to have a few of these if you're gonna throw one. So like have like a, a uh -huh. satchel. Of <laughs> you might have a couple. Satchel of, of axes on hand. <laughs> Let's say I'm gonna go ahead and pick up one. Ooh, you got a sword. dual wield. Oh no, just kidding. And this you were to like heavy. cut down at my head. Watch out! I can hook it oh. away. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ah! Uh, <laughs> yes! Oh. Oh. I have selected this umbrella. I'm feeling... Parasol. The parasol, yeah. Oh, I yeah. love how it works. Oh. It's really high quality. <laughs> I have to redo it. Oh. It's an umbrella! Oh. If you came at me with a yeah. knife, I would just... <laughs> You'd be like, what is this? Like, what happens if I stab this thing? If you came at me with a punch, like with your right hand, right hand? Do it. Do it. Just throw do it. like a it. slow punch. Like Ooh. a pocket. Oh. Oh. Get you here. The jawbone before. Yeah. <laughs> Other everyday weapons. Every day. I use this on the daily, actually, <laughs> to cut my pork chops. A lot of weapons you want to know about the balance. So I think right here you've got a pretty good handle on it. Uh -huh. and I would use the edge of it, the striking weapon. You either like to charge at me, Take but if you ground. came forward, <laughs> I could like hook behind your leg. Yeah. <laughs> so like, yeah. Like, it's kind of like a sickle, like the Grim like, Reaper, but oh. a very short version of it. Okay, like that? Yeah, well that's Ooh. right into my hip bone. So oh. I would go. That was, that was not a good strike. I want to look at like, like targets on the body, like behind the hamstring, behind the knee. Oh. Get some Ooh. teeth in there. Just gonna, you know, take. Anything can be a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right? Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank you, David, so much thank for you guys. Thank you. Yeah. 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 I hope you guys enjoy this episode and this weapons chat today on Book Chat. We'll see you guys all in next week's episode. Thank you all so much for watching. Please subscribe and like. Mm -hmm. And we'll see you guys next time on Book Chat. Bye! Bye. Bye.